Hello there, nice slice here, coming at you from the Great White North in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. Today we are going to be looking at the Spiderco Tenacious. This is my very first Spiderco knife. I have not purchased any or owned any prior to this. I will say I watched a video from Boston Blade Review a couple of weeks ago on the Spiderco Ambitious and he convinced me that I should purchase a Spyderco. It also helped that Spydercos were on sale everywhere you could buy one. They were greatly reduced. So I chose to purchase one from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And here it is. It says it has the trademark round hole. And here's the model. The C122PBBK Tenacious FRM for fiberglass reinforced nylon. Now the knife is not in the box, but let's see what it is. So we got a nice sticker here. That's pretty cool. Appreciate that. Nice foam liner for shipping and storage. Also comes with a pamphlet. Gives you all the information on the Spider Co. Now I did look it up. Spider Co. introduced the Tenacious in 2008. So there's their different versions and varieties of the Tenacious. They did come out not long ago with uh, some premium steels, the S35BNs on the Tenacious. This is a made in China Spider Co. Oh, before I forget, I also received this from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That is a cool sticker. A little bit of Star Wars theme there. Tatooine, gotta like that. So let's have a look at the knife, shall we? So this is the black on black with the FRN handles, the black stainless steel liners, black pocket clip, black blade, I did put a lanyard on this one. I chose bright green just to contrast the all black. There is the spider that they put on their blades. This of course is a 8CR 13MOB steel. Pops right out there. I'm so impressed with the texturing on this handle. That thing is not sliding at all. That, they call it the bi-directional texturing on the handle. And there's another Spyderco logo in the middle of the handle. I really like when companies brand as much of their product as they can. I'm a fan of that. I'm not sure what that little mark means. I know they do have products from Seki City in Japan. And I just happen to have one here. This. This knife is not mine, it belongs to Son of Slice. It also helped me make the decision to purchase a Spyderco knife. This is the Endura. And that is a very nice knife, but you can see it's quite a bit larger, longer than the Tenacious anyhow. Almost a good three quarters of an inch longer there. But we're not here to talk about that, but I would like to just say Thanks to Son of Slice for letting me show his knife off today. I would like to take the time to thank Tom from Knife Delights. I don't know if anybody, if any of you saw it, but I was a guest on his knife chat on Saturday and we had a blast just uh, shooting the bull, talking about whatever came up, knives. We talked about Ontario Company shutting down, being sold, and we just basically Talked like a couple old friends. It's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it. So Tom, thank you so much for that. Look forward to possibly doing it again in the future. Let's have a good look at this. I've been carrying this knife for a few days now just to get used to it. No, oh, I think this may be like a titanium nitrate coating on this blade. You can see I don't know if you can see that it wore off. It's a liner lock. You can see where the liner lock wore off. 
the paint on the on the blade so I don't know how tough that coating is going to be or not time will tell but it is a good solid lockup it's hard to see the black on black there but it locks up quite well pocket clip is nice and strong and it was I will say it was a tip down clip when I when I got it, the clip was on this side here. I took it off and moved it over here just because I prefer it. Tip up carry. Some of you may prefer the tip down and that's your prerogative personally. I much prefer tip up. I don't know if you've seen the tip down video by Cedric and Ada. If you haven't, go to that channel. I think you'll be laughing like I was when I watched it. So I did bring a couple of other knives to compare. I have my standby, Old Faithful, the knife I carry all the time. It's my OKC Rat 1. So this is a three and three quarter inch blade. This one is just shy of three and a half, I believe. And I also brought my Kershaw Blur. It again is a pretty good sized knife. Let's just line these up equally, shall we? There you can see. So Tenacious is a little bit shy of the Blur, and a lot shy of the Rat one. These are all fair size everyday carry pocket knives. You advertise because of the FRN scales. They call this the lightweight. So let's put that to the test here. Got my trusty scale. I did end up finding it. I lost it for a while. I wasn't sure where it was, but uh, you know where it was? It was exactly where I put it. So that only makes sense, right? So here we have the Kershaw Blur. Just shy of four ounces. So one quarter of a pound there. The rat one, I know that's not lightweight at all. So here we have it. That uh, genuine Schmuckatelli lanyard bead, it, it's solid pewter, it's not lightweight either. So it's gonna add to the weight of that knife. So this would be under four ounces probably. Let's see what this weighs. Yeah, it would be under four ounces without that lanyard for sure. So not featherweight, but not a, a heavy bruiser like the Rat 1 or a, a Buck 110, anything along those lines. The Spyderco is definitely sharp. Have some thin flyer paper here. Let's see how it performs. Look at that. That is a sharp knife. Very nice edge on that. So I'll just let you guys look at that some more. And I will talk about Singing Toad as well. If you watch his channel, he's a great Canadian knife reviewer. I am a subscriber of his and he has started a wonderful project called the Cross Canada Knife. And it is currently on its way to my destination out here in beautiful British Columbia, all the way from Ontario, Canada. Once it gets here, I will be doing a review on it and I will be sending it on its merry way to another Canadian knife review channel. We're gonna try and get as many of them on board as we can. I think it's a wonderful idea. So thank you, Singing Toad. I will point out as well, I did watch a video from Sussex EDC. He's a reviewer from across the pond over in the UK. I just 
started subscribing to him today, as a matter of fact, and the first video of his that I watched was all about lanyards. And he wanted to know whether you put lanyards on your knife or not. Well, Sussex, as you can see, I'm a fan of the lanyards. I do tend to personalize my pocket knives if I can. Certain ones, anyhow. So this is the Spider Co. Tenacious Lightweight. There you have it.